Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. It is 517. Happy Thursday to those just joining us. We're looking like it's going to be another nice warm day across the area. But it's okay to start your day with a piping hot cup of coffee. Most certainly, yes. I'm going to uh, make that here in a minute. Well, I'll talk so while you go make it. <laughs> Storm Track 15 meteorologist Adam Olivier is here to get us started. Adam, good morning, bud. Yeah, good morning, Alex and Scott. Knowing you two, we're going to need to make two pots of coffee because y'all go through. There you go. Anyway, here's a look at your coffee forecast while they go and try and get set for the day. We are looking at those temperatures here in the 60s. It would be nicer if it was a bit cooler, but it's still not too bad. We don't have too many uh, gusty winds out there yet, but that is going to change in the afternoon. Lots of clouds, though, and it may have you thinking some rain. Well, no rain to track right now. Our Queen City of the Tesh camera in New Iberia is showing that we have those quiet conditions from atop the Community First Bank building there. Otherwise, we're starting off the day in the 60s. Now, there are a few areas dropping into the 50s. Abbeville, New Iberia, Morgan City. We'll probably see a few more reach those upper 50s very briefly before a big warm up the later in the day we go. Satellite and radar though showing that we have high level clouds that are working their way on in. There's no rain to track around our area and that is because a cold front still is well to our north. This is where our next system is coming from. It's up in Oklahoma and just exiting out of Kansas. The high that brought us a nice weather is now pushing off to the east and we're in between these two systems. So there's a squeeze play going on that increases those winds and makes them really gusty, which we will see through the rest of today. Now you can see that there will be an isolated rain chance for the remainder of the day, our winds out of the southwest much of Thursday here ahead of that cold front at times gusting closer to 30, 35 miles an hour. The front is going to slide through by midnight and then behind it turn our winds tomorrow out of the north and west. But look how fast we clear out. In fact, tomorrow after the morning time, we should see mostly clear skies with some northerly winds really, really comfortable. Temperatures today possibly in the mid 70s by lunchtime. Good deal of cloud cover out there this afternoon, mid to upper 70s. Again, an isolated rain chance and tonight still watching for an isolated rain chance as we turn cooler after midnight. Westerly winds becoming northwesterly on the day tomorrow, 73. And if you're going to see some baseball tomorrow, first pitch is at 6 p.m. for the Cajuns taking on Rice Owls. Looking pretty good. Northwesterly winds, temperatures dropping into the 60s. A bit cooler there towards the final of the game, but overall really nice weather going into the weekend. And as we head into next week, a big warm up 80s looking more and more certain starting on Monday. So some warm times they're going to be sticking around here in the forecast, not only today, but through the weekend and into next week. No cold expected anytime soon, and really not even any rain chances. Well, that sounds wonderful. I don't know that we